Chinese astronauts, taikonauts, speaking to young people in Ethiopia directly from space. The experience has been exciting for many who attended and got a chance to hear more about the life of the taikonauts aboard the Chinese Tiangon space station. I'm really happy to be part of this event because uh, this uh, sets a background for us Africans to see how what the space looks like in the space and to share the experience with the talk uh, the astronauts and I'm really happy for that. Africans, we we are we are gifted, so why not why not uh, pursue this path? We have everything, every resources. We just have to have the find the courage. To do it. Ethiopia is one of the African countries investing in space science. It owns and operates an observatory and has in the last four years launched two satellites. The African Union is encouraging more African countries to incorporate space science in their policies. The reality is that many, many countries are just uh, uh, beginning to, to, to show interest to space science and space science has made a lot, a lot of progress and now space, uh, space knowledge, space science helps a lot in very different ways countries to deal with so many different problems of day-to-day -day life of uh, you know uh, human development in general uh, a satellite image could show you how is the status of your coastal uh, region uh, it can show you the deforestation it can show you the the the, the size of floods and uh, and the importance of floods it can help you forecast for the next uh, future the african union is striving to operationalize its space whose offices will be in egypt the African Union is pushing for the full implementation of the African Outer Space Program to create coordinated investment in space skills and resources because analysts say it is very costly for an individual country to invest alone in the sector. In 2019, China and Africa formally agreed to cooperate on the sector and this interaction with the Chinese astronauts is part of the deal. Various exchanges have borne fruit in areas like the manufacturing of satellites, the construction of space infrastructure health, the training of engineers and joint research projects. The young people who got their first space experience today say they hope there will be many more such interactions with the astronauts so that they can learn even more about life beyond the Earth. Kletan Johi, CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.